I'm Stephen J. Heron, and I'm the Artistic Director and General Manager here at the Titusville Playhouse. The Titusville Playhouse is a community theater. It has been housed at the Emma Parish Theater since 1987, and uh, next year we'll be celebrating our 50th anniversary that we've uh, the two entities merged together to join the Titusville Playhouse. You may ask what a community theater is. Well, a community theater is, uh, our mission statement is to bring art and entertainment to the community as a whole. And we can do that through, um, through producing our own work, bringing in concerts or theatrical productions, but it's really to provide a service for the community. And the community we consider to be North Brevard, uh, I would say, Vieira, North, all the way, Mims. What's, what's above Mims? What's yeah, above Mims? They don't, I yeah. guess. <laughs> <laughs> you have the artistic team, which is the director, the music director, usually a choreographer. Uh, if it's a musical, you've got a costumer, you've got a set designer, you've got a tech director, you've got a lighting designer, and they all work together to create a show that we put on and um, it's quite interesting everybody has to work in tandem although it doesn't always happen that way. Uh, sometimes uh, there are egos well let's just say all the time there are egos uh, involved and uh, um, I play mom and daddy more than more than anything else <laughs> they're here at the Titusville Playhouse, I have two whopping staff members, a part-time secretary and then the, the scenic designer who is full-time. Um, and then everyone else is recruited and brought in and they're pretty much paid except for a couple of volunteers here and there. Uh, actors, all the actors are uh, completely volunteer unless uh, our philosophy here at the Playhouse is that if we have auditions and we don't have someone right in the community to play a certain role, we'll go out and cast that person from uh, either Orlando or, or professional talent and those people would be paid but they're very minimum minimal uh, we have uh, this year which is the 2011 12 season we've only had six performers out of 15 shows that have actually made money and the, they're not making lots of money I mean they're making gas money because we got great local talent and we've got you know um, I've only been here about a year and a half uh, going on two years uh, and uh, the talent was always good, we were just, the, the big problem was the production value, which was scenery and lighting, and this summer we completely redid the lighting, uh, 100%, uh, brought in a whole new lighting package, and uh, it's not the best it can be, and this summer we're adding to it, but it's a, it's a system we can keep continually adding each year and growing. Uh, last year we brought in a scenic designer, uh, you may see the, the set is phenomenal, and uh, they have been all year long because his name is Jay. That's what he really specializes in. And we've taken a huge step up just from having him on board. This is the scene shop. And as you can see, uh, during a run of a show, we're performing Avenue Q right now. The tables are set up because they have puppets. Uh, and the puppets will be laid out. And they've got their costume changes because puppets have costume changes as well. And uh, this all gets broken down during the week. So, the, so we can build the next set, but uh, yeah, everything happens in here. This is, uh, this is Kate Monster. Are we rolling? Uh, this is Kate Monster. Uh, actually, for Avenue Q, the uh, puppets are so integral to the show that I've actually rented these. These are, these are actually the puppets that were used on Broadway, and uh, we were able to get them for the run of our show. And uh, isn't that right? Mm -hmm. And uh, there's, uh, they all have costume changes. There, this is the performance set. There's, there was a rehearsal set, and uh, there are, I forget, 14 puppets throughout the whole show. So, get yeah, Kate, and then we of course have Lucy the slut, because <laughs> she's packed. These are the little costumes that the puppets wear. Uh, as you can see, this is Kate's wedding dress. It says it's Kate's wedding, dr wedding dress. And during the show, we have a backstage technician that their job is, uh, we call him the puppet wrangler. Uh, their job is just to make sure that the puppets get changed into what they need to be changed into. Here's Princeton's little tuxedo for the wedding. Yay, isn't that cute? Little baby clothes. <laughs> Yeah. If you ever want to see a show or if you ever want to be in a show or volunteer, there's two easy ways to, to, to find out information. One is uh, 
by visiting our website, which is www.titusvilleplayhouse.com. Trying to keep it really easy for everyone, titusvilleplayhouse.com. And then the other way is you can always call us at 321-268-1125 and we'll give you information, uh, all that we can give you. Uh, you can buy tickets online, you can buy tickets through the box office, or you can just walk up to the box office an hour before the show and buy tickets as well. What's coming up, we've got uh, our, our youth program uh, in June is starting and they will be performing Shrek the Musical. That's gonna be followed by Les Miserables, uh, I Do I Do, Nuncrackers, uh, The King and I, Clue the Musical, Monty Python Spam a Lot, and wrapping up next, this coming season is A Few Good Men. Wow, so, that's, that's got a great a season, got a wonderful season, and uh, you don't wanna miss it. <laughs> We're always looking for volunteers. And if you want to volunteer as an usher or box office or anything like that, you can come in and see the show for free. Free! What a bargain. <laughs>